Welcome to Cooking with Jess. You know, I had this wonderful idea of making very good turnovers, right? Started out, planned it. I found these puff pastry, uh, gluten-free, which is a big issue for me, right? I'm gluten-free, so I found it. It was on sale. Listen, stars was lining up. I wanted to make the berry filling myself. And I did, that's what we have over here. We have strawberry, blueberry, and what other berry? Strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, right? So I went ahead and I prepared that ahead of time. And all I did was I put in just one cup of all those um, fruits and boiled it. I added some vanilla, I added some, New West, that's nutmeg, and I added some canela, cinnamon. Put some, um, I use um, azúcar morena. Azúcar morena is like um, uh, cane sugar, okay? Use that, tasted it, it was all good. This was a big helper, right? So I added tapioca granules. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Tapioca is, um, I use this as a thickening agent. So if you ever boiled or um, you tried to make um, a, a filling with berries and fresh berries and you're just adding water, it's gonna be very runny. So if you're gonna try to put that into a pie or um, a, a tart or, I, I'm trying to think of what else you could put it in. Just something that has a form and you wanna stuff it with Berries, if it's runny, it's gonna leak out. So you want a thickening agent. There are many different ones you can use. I'm looking for a gluten-free one, so I found tapioca. So this particular one comes in, in granules. It looks like tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces of, of rice, right? I'm telling you the story before I show you the madness, right? So I added that to the berries after they were, you know, they were simmering and all that fun stuff and just stirring and um as it cooled down what happens is that white in that like tiny tiny bits of rice looking granules it became translucent so it's clear and what it did it did its job so boom look at that i'm already like it's it's not runny you know it has consistency to it and we need that because we want it to stay in the very good tart kind of giving me like a preserve there's a specific preserve that I buy and um when I made this with the tapio I'm sitting here like wait a minute why am I still buying that preserve I could just do this from home and just do small batches because the way how I buy this it, it does come from a I buy the one that comes from the big box store so it's like this big and you know we use it for sandwiches at times and I'll put it in oatmeal and just different just different uh, i'm trying to think like topping on top of a um um what do you call that thing like yogurt and just to add some depth and some flavor so i'm like i could just make this myself and you know freeze it and make it in little small um, batches and take it out as we need it anyhow i thought things were going wonderful wonderfully and then i opened up the gluten-free puff pastry I'm not going to get into the details because it's going to, it's just going to make me even more upset than I am. What's happening. This is what, a, this is what I'm currently experiencing. This is, the, this is the sad part, right? Do you see this glob of foolishness? It keeps falling apart. I I'm well aware of the fact that since this is not made out of wheat, like you got to add all types of fun things to bind Bind this to make this dough like a traditional dough, right? So I started here. This is where this is where I was going with it, right? We're gonna cut it into squares because when you when you when you buy it, since it's pre-made, it comes in a flat sheet. Actually, it came on this parchment paper, right? And it was rolled up. So as you un as you unravel it, you have this this flat sheet of pastry. That was all I could get out, and I cut it with the with my little, my little cutter, right? And as I started to work with it, it was breaking apart, as, <laughs> just like my heart. So I try to put like another square back together. You see this? You see that? 
I don't know what went wrong, but I, like I said, I know that working with gluten-free, like you don't want to overwork it. That's a huge thing. And with dough, with like regular traditional dough, you can knead it and mold it and roll it and all this. See my roller? I was rolling because I was like, maybe if I start over and just like put it all together and roll it out, then I'm able to create that thin layer, <laughs> that thin sheet. I'm getting upset again. This is like, what? I had this because this this berry mixture tastes so good. I'm just ready for like something quick, you know, and I can have these to the side. So when I want to take something on a go, put it in a little lunch bag, you know, yeah, my mama made that. Oh, she did. Yeah, it was just, I, what am I do? So here's what we're going to pivot to. We're going to, we're going to attempt. We're going to, we don't even need this. Cause why we're going to attempt to, I, I went ahead and I, I, I lined some of these because I don't think I'm going to be able to get these all in these little trays and this little uh, muffin tin. I'm going to here's what I, here's what I'm going with. Right. We're going to try to like put some of the, the pastry dough in there, form it so that it's it's around the the perimeter of each one of these cups. And then we're just going to put the berries in it and we're going to bake it for 12 minutes. Oven is already getting ready. So when oven's dressed and ready for the party, oven will let us know and we'll just put it in for 12 minutes. In the meantime, I, I, I am going to keep this one and this is going to go in the oven too, because I want to see what it could have, should have, would have looked like. And then when I attempt this again, um, I'll have this one as a reference to where we were supposed to go. Thank you, Evan. I hear you. All right. Let's, let's, this was, yeah. do you see it? Just, just right. Look at that. Boom. Anyhow, we're going to roll with it. Right. Because I, I want to have little sweet, sweet treats and I'm all about small treats. So like, if you've seen the video on chocolate bombs, if you haven't checked that out with that video, in particular, that's a nice little, little chocolate snack and it works. You know, this one, I, I had high hopes, man. I, I saw, like I said, it all, it all started out right. Started out with a sale, started out with a sale. That, that makes me smile. Number two, gluten free. Let's I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So. I like fresh. I think fresh is best. So instead of purchasing some type of uh, berry filling, let's make it. It can't. I mean, it can't be that difficult. And I usually have almost certain you're going to find blueberries here. Now we, you know, we add uh, strawberries if they're in season, and then blackberries is now a thing in this household. So I have that. Raspberries I added it here and there. Um, not really, it doesn't get a lot of movement on its own here, but in smoothies and, and, uh, like I mentioned before about like oatmeal, there's a lot of oatmeal being consumed here. A whole lot of con every day, every day oatmeal is being consumed here. So I'd like to add that on, you know, the littles, they don't rock with it. They're just like, what is this red stuff? I just want, I just want my oatmeal and that all this extra stuff. Sometimes I can get away with it. When I make, uh, when I make pancakes, I will make something similar to this. And that's what I drizzle over it just so that we can get some, something besides all that carb, you know, so that's a lot of carbs just to eat pancakes. And, um, I want to introduce the fruits. I want to add something in there. You know, I want to eat like the rainbow as close as I can. And then we, we got to teach the littles. We got to teach them because if all they know is you're supposed to wake up and eat some, some carbs and that's what they will do unless they, um, unless they realize it later on, but start them out when they're young. If you can, you know, let's add some different fruits. Let's learn about, let's learn about how we have options. And we have healthy options, but you got to provide that to them. They don't know. They know what you tell them. They know what you show them. So show them, 
Show them some good. They will carry it on. They will carry it on with them in their lives. So, this just, man, it, it's going to work out. You know, realistically, what was I going for? Something sweet, something on the smaller side, you know, so it'll, it'll give that. It will, um, so it's satisfying the need. It wasn't my want, like it wasn't my desired look of what I wanted it to present as. But as long as it gives the, it gives the opportunity to have a homemade sweet snack. And you know, this is, this is portable, right? You can, you can take it with you on the go. I'm not going to put a cover on it though. Meaning like we're not going to put a, uh, we're not trying to bake a, a pie. You know, so there will be nothing on top of it. We're just going to put the little, uh, you see this, the crumbs. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. But it's okay. We're still rocking. We're still moving with it, right? I don't, I don't want to not have the experience just because it, does, it didn't look like what I thought it was supposed to look like. But let's experience it because that tastes so good. I made it. I know what's in it. You know, let's rock with it. Let's see what happens. You know, this might be uh, this might be a new thing. We'll get the littles involved. I know they'll be excited. I just have to figure out where I went wrong. And uh, I, I am have I do have this idea that we include the littles, but I have to have like. I think if I have everything already, meaning like if I have the dough already pour, cut and portioned into the little squares and then their job is like just to put the berries in, I think they'll enjoy that because I don't want a lot of manipulation with the, with the pastry dough since I, I know, um, I know that it's not, it's not going to hold up well to a whole lot of like little fingers in it and like rolling it into like little balls or whatever they're going to attempt to do when we try this together. And we don't want this to happen again. Oh, we do not want this to happen again. And I haven't had this, um, I have not had this pastry dough before, so I don't know what it's going to taste like. It did say puff pastry. So I wonder if it's going to puff up a bit. I would assume so. And maybe to like envelope the berries into a, not quite, I don't think it's going to cover it, right? I don't think it's going to like form some kind of cover. I think you'll be able to see the berries and I'm, I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. My original plan was really along the lines of go ahead and make this a, uh, make this something that you can take with you. In that case, I don't want it. I don't want the, uh, I don't want it to show. I don't want the berries to show, you know, we want it to be covered. All right. It's taking me a little long than I'd like to get over this, <laughs> but yeah, you know, you take the time. Get the ingredients, make a plan. I get all zhuzhed up for you. We get on camera. You know, there's it's a lot that goes behind this. And for it to not come out exactly how I want it to, it's a little bit of a like, man. But you know, that's life sometimes have all these good intentions and, um, you know, sometimes they work out and that's, that's cool. But then other times they don't. So then what do you do? You got to figure something out, right? You have to figure something out. You can't just like throw your hands up and, ah, oh, well, yeah, try this didn't work Ah, oh, well, you know, got to make it happen. Okay. It, you know, in my heart of hearts, I really want to try to see if I can make like just one more of these, um, 
if I can get this into a square. And I just, the more I, I like touch this dough, I feel like it's just going to look at me like, boo, you tried it. Stop trying me. It's not going to happen. Let's see if we can make this one into a little, like to see if it'll cover it up. Let's try that. Why not? What else we got to lose at this point? You know, let's just see what happens. And we got a lot here, so we um, we know it's gonna taste good because we know that filling tastes good. We made it, so we know it tastes good. And I tasted it. I'm all about the taste. I don't want to cook and not taste as I go, so that we we know what we're working with. We know what we need to add. We know for next time, you know what we need to do so that these uh these recipes that we're trying they're not a one and done you know if it's something that tastes good and you rock with it great you keep doing it then you do it from memory you know you don't have to have a a recipe card you just do it from memory because it just comes naturally that's kind of like a lot of um how my cooking is so it's not always easy for me to tell you like okay use a fourth of a cup of a for whatever is because I, I don't really, I don't really cook that way. Now, if I'm trying something new, that's a little bit different. I do, um, depending on what it is, depending on what it is, I may, um, if I'm familiar with the ingredients or if I'm familiar with, uh, you know, how it's supposed to look or how this dish is going to perform when it comes down to like the end state, like, okay, in the end, it's supposed to look like this. So we might want to do that, you know, things like that nature. I may be able just to go based off of my experience. If that's not you and you need to follow a recipe, follow a recipe. Yes. Follow a recipe. Somebody took the time to measure and write all that stuff out. And, you know, we're hoping they know what they're talking about. Right? Yeah. All right. So this is where we at, man. This is where we at. I almost got all of them. I'm not really concerned about it because I want to try to see if I can like layer this, this only this one, just because I want to see what it's going to come out like. And what? Falta cuatro. So we, there's four of them that we didn't have enough for. And I'm not messing with this because I, I want to I want to pop that in in the oven and see if I was able to get it to the state I was I was hoping for. So I'm just going to put just a little bit. So here's what a little bit is, right? So this is a tablespoon, like this is officially a tablespoon and that just made three. So I don't want to go any more than, I really don't because I don't know what this pastry is going to, is going to do when it goes into the oven. And I also want to have, that's the one that, that I'm going to fold over. So I'm going to take a pause right there. That one's probably going to have even less just because I want to see what happens with, this is going to be the one, okay? Hopefully it'll, like I said, it'll be like a little form, a little, a little protection over the, the berries. And the berries are already cooked, you know, I, I took them from their full raw state. There was nothing that like, there was no prep at all other than I washed them just to get any little, whatever they any friends that were trying to join the party, we, you know, we want to wash them. And I only cut the strawberries. I quartered them or cut it into four little pieces and took the tops off, you know, and that's it right on this burner and made it a, uh, you know, follow, put it those uh, other ingredients I mentioned. That's it. But I, I do see the difference that this tapioca makes as far as sticking it up. It was, it was straight water. There's no way around it. Like outside of the berry, the like the, the clumps of berry, it was all just water. So there we go. This reminds me of these little cookies. I can't think of what they are. Um, I can't think. I'm not even going to try. But is this, uh, even if I, I, I remember them, I just, I don't think I've ever known the names. Short, like short cookies, shortbread cookies or something. 
and this is always store bought or even in a bakery so i've never made these type the ones that i'm thinking so we'll see what happens here we'll see so i'm not gonna put too much that's just one full of this size cuchara right and i think that's a little much but listen we we have been done though aqui so we are, we are, we are trying, we inventing, we're going to see what's going to happen since we made it this far. So let's see. And I'm just going to press the sides because like press and pull, cause I want to try to get the, um, the two, the two squares of the pastry to, to marry together. You see that? And I'm just trying to stay at the end, the very end. Of, so the top piece is a little smaller than the bottom. So I'm just trying to get to the end of the top piece because I don't want to get too close in the middle. And then I, you see how this had a little bit of berry like coming out, peekabooing through. Let's see what happens here. This is going to be a little difficult on this side. Let's get that guy in good. Cause it's already, I already see it. It's already peeking out. I don't know if you can see it. it's already peeking out, but I still, I still want to close it though. So I can hold everything. Otherwise, once it bakes, it's going to, it's going to spill out. I want to keep it inside. Okay. Can you stay in? Let's see. Yeah, it's going to come out. It's okay. There we go. I'm going to put a little tiny, let me see if I can put like a little, let's put a little, some dots in there so the air can come out. Okay. All right. Mr. Oven told him, told us he was ready some time ago. I'm going to put this in the oven just for 12 minutes. That's it. And then we'll come back and we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we got. We'll see. All right. We'll see you soon. So we're back. I took out the, I don't know what we're going to call these guys yet. We'll come up with a name, but I took it out the oven. It has cooled. So that's why I'm able to touch it. It's not hot. And they don't look like what I thought they would look like, but they look like, I mean, you know, some kind of treat. The one that I attempted to fold over just because I wanted to see if it was going to give you more of like a, like a mini pie feel. It really didn't, it really didn't come out like that. And here is that, that one that I made to kind of look, um, at least go along the lines of what I wanted it to look like my initial plan. And that's what it looks like. Um, I please note though. So these were only in for 13 minutes. This had to go in for an additional 12 minutes. Um, because the, those so the bottom cooked, but not the top. I could see it was still like the coloring was completely the color of the, the dough that's on top was completely different than the dough on bottom on the bottom. So I put it in for another 12 minutes and there we go. So the most important part is the taste, right? Let's see what this tastes like. I'm just going to pick any one. Very easy to take out. It looks cute. It reminds me of like little ceviche cups. I don't know what the, uh, I can't think of what the cups are made out of, but I know that, um, my, my, my father makes, he's known for his ceviche and that's how he likes to serve it. So that's what it's reminded me of. Look, it's still falling apart. Even, I mean, I think that's just how it baked. Like it just, it would not connect. I don't, anyhow, let's see what it tastes like. Let me give a quick shout out to people who bake. I believe baking is a science. I really do. You can cook. You can play with this, add an extra this, take away that. But when it comes to baking, I I really believe it's a science. The dough is is good. Like, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what I thought it would taste like. The filling though, the filling, like it, the texture changed by going into the oven uh, for the good. It did for the better. 
it tastes good. And it's small, a small bite. So I'm happy about this. I'm happy about the size, the sweetness, how the berries came together. It's good. It, it's good. We're going to come back and try to figure out. We're, I'm going to try to make this again. I'm going to try to get to this or maybe a different shape. We'll see. I don't, I don't want to have these lofty goals. But we're going to try to figure this out again and see where I went wrong with this with the dough. But it tastes good. Presentation. Eh. Execution. I'm telling you. All right. We'll come back and we'll do it again. Until next time. Bye.